Well, um, we're walking to the dining hall uh, this morning again, and the question is asking me, uh, Pastor Dow, what is your take on prepper groups, prepper groups or preparedness groups, um, et cetera, so forth and so on. Uh, while I am not against people uh, being part of a prepper group or preparedness group, um, I do know uh, that the underlying motive is hypocrisy and a lack of trust. And I'll tell you the reason why. Because they're not community-minded and they're not community-centered. You know, a lot of these people out there, they're, they want to join together under the band and under the guys that we're all preppers and that we can uh, be mutually assistant to each other, um, which requires great trust. And I've learned over my 25-something years of when the thought first came into my mind of living in community, doing community, following the Bible to the best of my ability and living it, um, that people just simply can't be trusted. Um, and especially people who do not want to talk about Jesus, who don't want to keep the, the commandments, there's no way that you would want them around your family. Because the truth is, when the proverbial crap hits the fan, these people have no morals, no defense whatsoever at all, and they will take what you have um, in order to provide for their own. And that's simply because these people, if they cannot lay down their natural life for the cause of Christ and serving him, then they're not going to actually forsake their life, their natural life for you and the betterment of the whole. When you really truly look at a lot of these people today, um, that they have all these groups, they're mostly interested and centered in themselves. Um, and it's just, it's, it's far from what the Bible says. It's kind of like almost Christianity repackaged and rehashed again. While they can get together in fellowships and groups, there's really no closeness. There's really no trust. Um, they, they all have an arm's link distance from each other. Um, but they do love their families and they do trust their families and as wicked as their families may be They'll let them come in uh, Any old kind of way without serving y'all and the whole nine yards um, That's the difference uh, because Jesus said that you must be born again And I told you a lot of these people done done the Billy Graham one-liner repentance And they have never ever ever really truly been on their knees and humbled themselves and really truly have made changes the way that they should have. So no, I'm not big on these prepper groups, um, Hebraic groups, groups. Um, and of course all those are acronyms and synonyms and just different ways of saying uh, that we're not gonna follow the true biblical Hebrew Israelites or the true Israelites that carry this message in truth, uh, that don't distort the message, that doesn't practice collusion, um, that actually has the right to carry this message. Uh, and so that leads into me that, again, I don't think Gentiles is going to ever, ever, ever going to be able to carry this message the right way unless they're taught by an Israelite. And, of course, the proof is in the pudding. Um, but, um, hey, do what you want. But the truth is, a lot of these people that do this survival of stuff, prepping and stuff and stuff, they simply can't be trusted. Ask them if you can trust them. See if you can make a pack a treaty. Um, if you can be tribal. Uh, lay it out. See if you can trust them and they can trust you and see what type of unity you have. I guarantee if you have any discernment, you'll find out that they got a very long handle spoon concerning you as well as them with relationships.